Hey everyone, welcome back to TSC Connect. I'm Physio Andrea and in this video we have a plank series workout. We combine different versions of the front, side and reverse plank to really activate a lot of that stability in your shoulders, in your core of course, and across your pelvis. So if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, enjoy this plank series workout for people with scoliosis, Sherman's kyphosis and spinal fusion. Before we get into our planks, let's start by activating our transversus abdominis, which is the deep muscle that really supports our core. It wraps around from the back of the spine um, all the way around your abdomen. So find a supine position. If you need to use your rice bags to prop your prominences, if you know how to do that, this is a time to do that. Otherwise, keep your feet flat and your knees about shoulder width apart so that your legs are active too. From here, take two fingers on each hand and place them just on the inside of the pointy parts of your pelvis. These are going to be your sensor fingers to see if you can feel that this transversus uh, muscle is activating. So there are a few ways to cue this. You can think about if pretend that you had a wire across from both of these two pelvis bones and think about trying to draw them together gently, almost like you're flattening through your tummy. Let's just do this two or three more times. As you exhale, think about drawing those pelvis bones closer to each other to see if you can activate and then relax. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, drawing those muscles together, seeing if you can activate the transversus, and then relax. One more time. Gently tensing across the lower abdomen, seeing if you can feel that with your two fingers, and then relax. Now we're going to combine the transversus activation with some actual movement. Find a supine position and then bring one leg into tabletop and the other one as well, making sure that you're not totally rounding your lower back into the mat and that you're not arching your back fully to lift up. You want to maintain a gentle scoop in the lower back. So pretend there's a small berry or a small piece of fruit, for example, underneath your lower back and you want to be touching the berry but not squishing it entirely. Okay, so from here, again, thinking about drawing those pelvis bones together or activating your transversus or your deep core. Inhale, and as you exhale, lower one leg to tap your toe to the mat, keeping your core active, not changing the shape of your body, and coming back up to tabletop position. Inhale, other side, lowering your toe down to tap and back up. We're going to repeat this movement trying to keep your transversus or your deep core activated and we're doing this movement for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Okay, now we're going to combine that transversus activation with a supine bridge, which is similar to a plank, which we'll also be doing in our workout. So keeping your feet planted in the floor, first think about doing a gentle pelvic tilt so that you're activating your glutes. Push down through your feet to lift your body so that your trunk, your pelvis, and your thighs are all in line. From here, you can either place your hands on the floor or you can raise them up in front of you. Hold for five seconds, slowly lowering down just to tap your pelvis or your lower, your sacrum to the mat. And then we're pushing back up into a bridge. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come back down to tap. Make sure not to lead with your rib cage or arch through your back because we're always thinking about leading with your pelvis to keep your spine more neutral. Just do this at your own pace, but hold at the top of the bridge for a few seconds. And we're doing this repeating for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go.
Next, we're transitioning into the face down position to prepare ourselves for plank. First, find a four point position and we're doing what's called a static beast. And so place your hands right under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. You can tuck your toes because you're going to be loading onto them. From here, think about drawing those pelvis bones together and gently supporting your spine by bringing your belly button ever so gently up towards your spine. So it's, again, it's not a sucking in, you're not rounding your spine. Stay as neutral as you can, and you also don't want to collapse down. So just activating that core to find a neutral position. From here, tuck your toes, inhale. With your core active, see if you can just hover your knees off of the floor for a second, and then you can lower back down. Okay, we're doing this movement, hovering, and then resting for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Make sure to push your hands into the floor so that your shoulders are really active. Let's start with a modified plank version. So you're staying on your knees for this whole set, but we're doing it on our hands. So moving into a front plank position, you can cross your feet if you'd like, or just keep them side by side. Lower your pelvis so that you're aiming to have your trunk, pelvis, and your thighs in a line, all while really pushing strong through your hands to engage your shoulders as well. From here, still activating your core to stay nice and supported through your spine, making sure you're not arching or rounding, it's trying to stay as long as you can. We're holding this for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Make sure to keep your head in line too. Try not to drop your head down or arch your neck up. Keep the back of your neck lengthened. You can do it, we're almost there. Next, we're moving into side planks. So we're still staying on our hands and our knees as our first round, just to warm up the body. And so, Stack your knees on top of each other and place your hand out to the side. Lift up to lift your pelvis off of the floor and shift it forwards. So that again, if you look down, your thighs and your trunk are all in a line. Try as much as you can to have your hand underneath your shoulders. Try not to lock your elbow, keep it gently bent. Same thing, push the floor away to activate this shoulder. From here, you're taking your top hand and we're arcing over and back down for 30 seconds, trying not to shift the position of your body. We're staying really still and lengthened, keeping that core activated. Ready, set, go. sides. Ready and go. To balance out all our front and our side work, we're also doing a plank um, in a tabletop position. So sit 
with your feet flat on the floor, hands and your fingertips facing forward. They can be a little bit wider than your body too and even can turn out to the side. From here, press down into your feet. We're lifting your pelvis up as high as you can, keeping your elbows gently bent and holding this for 30 seconds. You'll probably feel this in your shoulders, so if you need to lower a little bit, that's fine too, but see if you can activate your core and lift as high as you can for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Let's go into round two, or the second level of all of our movements. This time in front plank, we're going on our hands and our feet. So place your hands under your shoulders again. This time extend one leg back and then push onto the other leg. From here, stay really forward on your hands, keeping um, the pressure through your hands to activate your shoulders. We're doing this for 30 seconds. If you'd like to rock back and forth to keep your brain busy, go ahead and do that. Ready, set, go. Next, we're moving into our side plank. Similarly, going on our hands and our feet. So you can place your hand underneath your shoulder. You have a couple choices here. You can stack your feet on top of each other, but sometimes it's hard to balance. So feel free to split your stance and you have to engage your ankles so that your, the sides of your feet are actually supporting of you. But from here, you go ahead and lift into a side plank, staying on the sides of your feet, making sure that both of your hip bones and your chest and your face are all facing the same way. Okay, from here, you can just reach your arm up towards the ceiling and we're holding this for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Switch sides in three, two, one. We're switching sides. Ready and go. Okay, for our um, reverse position, we're finding our tabletop position again, but this time we're doing knee alternating knee raises while we're in that lifted position. So pushing down into your hands, make sure that you're broad across your collarbones, lifting your pelvis. From here, try and keep your pelvis as level as you can and then lift one foot off of the floor and then back down, switching sides. Imagine that you have a glass of water balancing on your tummy and you're trying not to tip it over side to side. It's very hard to do, but trying to keep your pelvis and your abdomen as neutral as possible. Alternate sides for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go.
we're moving into our third round of the movements. Some of these might feel harder for some of you and it might feel easier for some of you. It really depends on how strong your arms are in relation to your core and your legs, but let's try it. It's a different modification. This time we're doing our front plank on our elbows and our feet, which is the classic position of the plank. So you can either clasp your hands together if you want or just keep them apart. Elbows will be underneath your shoulders and then extend one leg back and the other one, and then see if you can lower your pelvis to be in line. Same thing, you can rock back and forth to keep your brain brizzy. Do this for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Okay, we're next we're moving into our side planks. So find your elbow position directly under your shoulder. Again, you can stack, either stack your feet if you'd like to make it a bit more challenging or split your feet for balance. Lifting your pelvis up and forward. Again, you might make, feel like this one's easier or harder depending on how strong your arms are, but keep your pelvis forward and facing forward. From here, to challenge yourself, let's do gentle arm circles with your top arm for 30 seconds, then switch sides. Ready, set. Go. Switch sides in three, two, one. We're switching sides. Ready and go. Our last reverse position we're doing a lift again kind of like a bridge but we're keeping our legs straight this time so hands behind you this time extend your legs and make sure that your heels are anchoring into the floor if it feels like it's a little bit pokey feel free to put a yoga mat or a folded towel underneath although that might make it a little bit more difficult if it's sliding something that's grippy underneath your heels from here push into your hands to activate your shoulders and then lift, push down into your heels to lift your pelvis up, trying to stay as straight as possible. And we're holding this for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. We hope you find this information helpful. For more how-to videos and Scolios' friendly workouts, check us out on TSC Connect. See you next time.